So the question is, can you fit 40s on a Jeep Liberty KK without trimming? Of course not. You have to trim right there. So you're telling me it's doable. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're saying. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Daddy Jeep Garage YouTube channel. In case you haven't noticed, I've been slacking. I haven't done a video in quite some time. And further, you haven't seen this thing in a really long time. So in this video, we're going to get the front suspension all dialed in for this Liberty. progress is happening on the Liberty again, we're going to have some pretty exciting steps coming up, which include some Fox coilovers. Guys, if you're just watching these videos and you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a bunch. And while you're at it, hit that little bell icon. That way you get notifications next time we put out another cool video. And you thought zombie choker soft shackles were just for recovery. Money. Yep, set it right down on there. Setting her down. Gotta use the right side of the tool. Coming down. That was way better. Ultra wire speed up to like 300. So, what we got going on under here is we're gonna build some triangulated lowers. So the center of the frame side is close together. We've got an upper tacked in up here and some uh, uppers and lowers on the axle. I just have to move this one and then we can try it. Yep, so we're pretty close to building some mock-up links and flexing it and seeing how things work. This is all a test. Nothing's plated, obviously. But uh, got to see where the links fall just to see where we can get suspension and tire placement. With the uh, upper on the outside like that, it's gonna get it really close to the tire, so we need to know if it's gonna work. It's like fitting 10 pound stuff in a five pound sack. It is not Two links. Are you sure your upper is 80% of your lower? It looks like about 40%. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> But I am liking the looks of that. That looks like plenty of triangulation. Did you somewhat calculate the angle or no? Not at all. Okay. 100% winging it. Yeah. All right, so good. we got three of the four links on. Instead of wasting my time putting the other one on, I want to see if this thing's going to articulate and uh, see what we're going to run into. Uh, First concerns here, we can clear that out, but I want to know if we go up five inches on one side and the other, and then straight up and down, um, what it's going to look like. So this is driver's side up, passenger side at right height. Now we're going to figure out a different way to grab it so we can shove the tire on there. We should be able to put the, the hoist right onto the tire though too. Big one inch. Two. I heard a tonk. Pinion hit this piece of mount. Okay. Which, yeah, we did know that at one point. All right, back to the cutting board, literally. All right, gotta go 20. Nice. Careful, that upper bung slipped out. We're, we're a quarter of an inch away. 
Oh, yeah, this is almost all the way out back here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. It's tipping forward hard. But we also really need to drop the other side away because you're going to have five inches of up. That gives you 11 inches of droop. So that side's got to drop seven inches to accurately represent the angle of the, ang of the axle. Look at this, though, Rob. This is looking really good. That clears fine, yeah. Even if it was straight stuff, it won't hit. Yeah, straight stuff. Right. Straight stuff, that won't hit. <laughs> that's just fitting, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I put it where I put it. Yeah, you got good clearance here now. Holy smokes, Batman. This might actually work, Robert. If you brought that jack stand up, can we hold the axle where it is currently? Uh, I think that link's going to slip out. We're going to do it over here anyway. Okay. I don't really want to put duct tape on it. So it'll be gooey and gross later. Yeah. Try cutting longer and double clamping. That's a link in the bottom right there. Is that all you got? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to put the other, the second upper link on it. Do you have any uh, chunks of straight, straight? Yeah, that one link is taking a lot of stress. It is. Or if both upper links that were in it'd be Where spreading that load. Right we're like a quarter of an inch short. Measure that for me. I want to see it. 19 three quarters. I don't believe you. 19 and a half. Yeah, 19 three quarter. Yeah, holy smokes. Do me a favor. Measure to this stud here. Okay. Mowing on, man. It's actually higher. Like four and a half? Like four and a half. I'm going to bring it back down. Oh, actually, I, uh, we're not measuring in the right spot. 19. We should be measuring all the way back here. Right. Because that's where your shock's going to mount is right here. Your shock's not going to mount out here. Oh. Your up travel should be measured about here, so we're probably half, three quarters of an inch short. I think this needs to come out a smidge. It doesn't have much to go. Yeah, there's not much. Again, we could cut all the way up into here. Yeah. And we'll have to plate it inside, but. Well, it's better than cutting, you know, I can cut that out. I mean, we got an inch for the flange, but even if we cut higher. Oh, this isn't even, oh, this stuff. We can box that back in. Go. Yeah. So, like yeah, we can clean it as a whistle. That motor mount. Yeah. That's the same style. We need to get that up and get the tire turned to <coughs> see if the tire is going to get into this. That's our biggest question right now. And if we can't steer, this can't live here. Okay. So, let's, let's get it up again and then let's try and jet, like, get his jack stand into this. Mm -hmm. And then we can move this out of the way. Yeah, and then we throw the fire on and turn it. And... All right, let me get it up. Um, where was the pinion when, we, when it was down below? Do you remember? It was at like one degree. So our pinion angle changed two and a half Yeah. as it came up? Yes, we which don't... is fine. Yeah. I want, I want to rock back. In that exactly, point. yeah. Well, that, that's the shorter upper link is going to affect how much that changes. Yeah. That's why you wanted 80%, so it keeps pointing where it's supposed right to point. Right now, that, that pinion on the diff is like stri straight in line with my transfer case. Yeah, it's pointing right at the transfer case, yeah. Because if you had that longer, it's going to keep the pinion angle without changing. Yeah. So you want it shorter, so it keeps it pointed where it's supposed Actually, to point. Can we put a hammer on that? Hammer that body over? Hey, five inches of up travel. So we got like twenty and a sixteenth now. Okay. We lift it so much now. Yeah. Well, it didn't go on, right? Well, we got to turn it. I like cut a piece of plywood or something out. <clears throat> Should work. <laughs> Back. Pretty close. There you go. There you see. Uh, 
Holy shit, it's not touching. In the back, you're almost. Uh, it's just barely kissing it, actually. Touching the link right now? Yeah, just barely. And then the spot back here. After. Well, yeah, that's going to get folded over. That's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, it's already touching the link. It's not bad, though. That's not a terrible steering angle, I don't think. Um, let me see if we can eyeball it. Uh, I'm going to eyeball me 30 degrees. Let's say that's our target, which I don't even know. I mean, how much steering can you get out of a 1350 U-joint? I don't know. Well, this is this is 8 inches. Well, this stroke is 8 inches, right? Let's do that. Let's measure from this bolt. Get that as straight as we can and measure here. where it is. And then, and then come out four inches. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be better. Right? And the angle is irrelevant, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm limited by this. Okay, I'm just eyeballing this. We're not 30, we're at just over 20 degrees. Which isn't a lot. No. I mean, that's eyeballing, but it's still roughly there. Tire's gonna hit the fender. Um, it's gotta come off. Oh my god. Isn't that cool? That's massive, dude. Look at that 40. Yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't even be able to run those down the Ford. Okay. I don't see. Oh, I go for it. We need 10 more degrees of steering, I think, at a minimum. Wait, wait. Measure where it is now. Oh, good idea. Since we already know that's our current max. This right there to the body yeah. or something. Okay, why not go from there to there? Okay. And the center is 13 and a quarter. I don't know. Straightish. No. More? Back towards you. Come back. Thirteen and a quarter to ten, so it's three inches. So we should go another inch, yeah. Three, ten and a quarter, yeah. About three inches. That's close. Wheel spacer, one inch wheel spacer, or two inch cool. wheel spacer. Super accurate. Oh yeah. The other part of this, Rob, I forgot. I'm gonna need wheel spacers. Definitely gain some. You know what? It wasn't even all the way in the hub. Because it's hitting something. My high steel arm. Oh. Are we still hitting it? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And how far away are we from seating? Can you reach in here? Um, we are a quarter inch away from the nut. Yeah. There's nothing changed. I got a, we got a little more angle. Probably because we're just sitting a little different on the... Okay, so instead of adding space, let's we'll just pull this all the way out to the end of the studs. Yeah, just an inch. Make it even. We're both going to do it, and one of us is going to rip right off of there, so. We'll have to change your angle. You hear that, Jack? So now we can theorize to steer a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're hitting back there now. Oh, we are, we're in the body now. Yeah, which is to be expected. Yeah, with, with spacers. So with a two-inch wheel spacer, we're pretty darn close. Yeah. And someday with the right wheels, it'll be fine. Holy wow. That's more better. So we're right height now. We're going to go ahead and drop this side to the floor. Watch our links that are somewhat taped together. And things are moving nice. Uh, let's go smidge more. Or not. That's all, on the ground. that's all she's got. So that looks to be full droop. And that was that was 15 inches you measured, and now it's minus two. Oh, there we go. So that's 13 inches of droop. Um. Yeah. All day. So it's not stuffed on the other side, but this is fully drooped on driver's side. <laughs> So here's what the links are looking like. Um, that 
lowers almost pulled out on the frame side. Nice. So here we are under the Jeep. Hey. You see a make gun around here? I think you're laying on I'm it. I'm laying right? on it, but you want to talk about what this cross member thing we've got going on here All is? All right. Yeah. So we, we mocked up the lower links on the transfer case support. Um, initial plan was to maybe reinforce this. Um, but then after putting my dimensions for the four link in the crawlpedia uh four link calculator i need a little more angle between here and these longer links actually aren't, aren't helping me it's it's act if i shorten them up it's going to help my anti-squat and you're losing your triangulation with the length too yeah so, yeah. so so bring them forward i'm gonna get more triangulation like uh i'm i'm, I'm acute right now and by bringing them forward it's going to be more it's still acute, but more obtuse. And also, if we bring them forward, it's going to correct my anti squat. Uh, so, we have this cross member mocked up, uh, plate strengthening plates on either side, and that uh, plate I made to bolt this cross member to so it's removable. And uh, I'm going to tack those, those plates I made to the side plates. And then, uh, hopefully, once it's tacked, I can bring it all down in one piece. And finish welded off the jeep. Cool. You can see the, the tapers he built on either side really blend nicely into the side plates. watching guys again make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and also check down below in our description we have some links to some products that we use in this video we showed you the zombie choker uh, soft shackles those are a great product we've used them in the shop we've used them on the trails uh, there's a link down below where you can get a little bit of a discount and I can get a little bit of a kickback too so order up some zombie choker merchandise we'll see you next time